all right welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose laravel and liveware application so in this video we'll be working on deleting user information deleting particular users so before moving further i noticed that uh, when i when i add a new user let's add a new user save it yeah new user is added and if i again add a new user then uh, i see this old information so we don't want to so that old information when someone had a new user so let's fix this we need to make those every input fields as empty so let's do that first let's go to list users component class and when someone add a new click on that button we need to clear the this input so let's do this state equals to empty okay now if we click on any new users then every input fields are now empty so this looks good but one thing uh, we have to be noticed is if we have created uh, multiple properties like this like name email phone number like this then we will end up doing this name equals to empty string and this email equals to empty string so on this one equals to empty string i have seen this approach on, on different uh, other tutorials online so i don't actually i don't like this approach so to make it more cleaner let's do let's use this approach okay so let me remove it let me remove it from here perfect now uh, let's go to this deleting section so when someone click on this button over here so let me go to list users and uh, and let's go to this part and when someone click on this button let's prevent the default event and let's call a method called confirm user removal okay the and the users that we are trying to remove is user id okay now let's go ahead and create this method on our component class so let me go to the end and let's create the method called confirm user removal and we will be receiving the user id so now let's die and dump the user id that we received okay let me press it and click on delete yeah we got 28 p click over here 27 okay perfect now let's save this id in our public property called uh, user id being removed equals to user id so we haven't created this public property so let's create that over here let's create that property and let's pack null by default okay also yeah, we save that user id okay in our property called user being removed user id being removed okay now when someone click on this delete icon we need to show that pop-up model that confirmation model so let's do that part now so to the to do that we need to dispatch the browse event let's dispatch the browse event called let's give it the name called so delete model okay so delete more so using javascript let's listen to this event and open the model okay so let me go to app.blade.php which is inside of resources views layouts and then let me go over here okay now let's listen to that event using window.event an event listener and then the event name is so 
delete model event and let's find the id called let's do confirmation model and let's show that let's open that model so we haven't created that model yet so let's go ahead and create that model so uh, let me copy this everything from here and let me paste it over here later we will later we can extract this into component as well so for now let's do as it is so instead of form let's do confirmation model and let me remove everything inside of form okay now let's go ahead and create div okay with a class of model header and I think we need to wrap this with how oh, what is that model yes model content we need to wrap everything with model content so let's do that div model content model header model body and then model put okay perfect now in header let's do delete user okay now let's see if this works so now when someone click on this delete then we see that model perfect now let's add description over here are you sure you want to delete this user okay and in footer let's add two button so let me copy this button from here and let me paste it over here and let's do delete user and close that button so press it and click on delete yeah delete user and rc wanted you want to delete this user okay perfect so let's make this button a is danger button and let's add an icon called crash okay click again yeah perfect so click on cancels and it is not doing anything now when someone click on delete user okay let's make this as button and when someone click on, on this delete user button let's present the default event and let's call delete user method okay delete user now let's create that method just delete user okay now let's tie and dump here let's do one more time delete user yeah we see that output okay now let's find the user user find or fail this user id being removed yeah because we already have saved this user id on in this property perfect now uh, we will see the user okay let's try this yeah we see that user specific user okay now we just need to do user delete perfect now if i click on this delete delete user yeah user is deleted but we are not hiding the model and swing the notification so let's do that so we need for this we need to fire 
the event browse event let's fire the event call hide delete model and let's also let's pass a message for toast notification called user deleted successfully perfect now let's go to app that play the PSP and let's listen to that event window add event listener call hide delete model event and let's hide that confirmation model model hide and let's display the notification toast notification toast success and the message is event the detail that message and the title is success okay good now let's try one more time yeah this is the user that we are going to delete delete user yeah user delete is successfully perfect yeah i hope you like this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you in the next video